them, right? Okay, it's not easy for me to come because I come from Taipei. Uh, yes. And uh, when I first got, uh, was invited to come here to have a talk, I just rejected flatly. Uh, firstly, because uh, in the field of language teaching, I consider myself to be a deserter. Because I was teaching uh, high school about uh, how many years ago, that's 1984. That's about 20, more than 25 years ago. Yes, so I found that um, I was a failure in the high school English teaching. So at that time, I was 40 years old, and I decided that I want to give it up and uh, further my studies. So I went to take in, uh, at the age of 40, that's, that's something very difficult. Yes, and since you have not been a student for a long time. So I went to take examination to the Graduate Institute of Translation and Interpretation in Korean University. Yes, so after four years, I got my MA. Uh, very difficult four years, yes, yes. And as a single parent too, yes, without uh, too much financial support. So I, uh, then I came out of school and I faced a selection of jobs. And of course, in the beginning, I wanted to be an interpreter and translator. Yes, so I spent uh, quite a few years uh, doing interpretation and translation. But finally, I landed in, uh, I was landed in a, in a university, a full-time job. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so that's where I started uh, teaching again. Okay, so um, at first I, I just refused to take the job because I don't think that I'm eligible because I think that all of you, most of you have got a PhD degree, which I don't have. Is that right? <laughs> okay. And then I, I have no, actually I don't have to come here to give a talk to fulfill a quota for my school, as I know that uh, most of you have come here to fulfill some kind of quota required by your school for, uh, for learning, right? <laughs> so I have no obligation for that because uh, I have no ambition to pursue my PhD degree. I have no ambition to be promoted in a university. I'm going to retire in four years. <laughs> so I'm a very free person because uh, my university, uh, at least my chairman told me, uh, just be there. Okay, do you, do you envy me? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's the reason, I mean, uh, uh, so, uh, so that I, I talk to myself, uh, okay, should I come? Okay, and finally, you know, uh, I thought of some difficult verses. I have to explain that uh, I, uh, sometimes when in a classroom I talk about my religious belief, I get attacked by students. But you know, um, a person, if you want to know a person, you know his or her personality and his identity. And I have to tell you that uh, by quoting, by referring to what I learned from the Bible, just shows what, the kind, of per what kind of person I am. I'm not proselytizing to you, I'm not converting you, but I'm just sharing with you what I really am. Okay? So so when I thought of these typical verses uh, from Isaiah, Isaiah it says, uh, expands your tent. Okay, so this means that um, whatever we do, we should exercise some good influence on people. And don't give up any opportunity that you can influence people in a good way. So that's why I have decided to come. Okay, that was the time when I uh, went on a trip to Italy. I went on a trip, that's an academic trip. Okay, I took a course with the 
中华神学院 ，and that's we want to follow Paul's trail， 保罗行踪。Okay, so I was in a hurry to decide on a topic, which was a very difficult thing to do. I could talk about how to learn English to a very everyday enthusiastic English learner, but、uh, how can I talk about remedial English, which I'm not an expert in? Yes. How can I give you any theories? Since I I'm not into theories, 我不讲理论的 Okay, how can I give you any help if I'm a deserter myself? Okay, so that's my dilemma. Okay, and guess what? Since I said yes, I have to fulfill this obligation. And after I came back from my trip, I tried to do a little bit of research and found that oh wow. And there is quite a plethora of research, quite a lot. And、uh, of course, I learned something. And when I called my uh, university uh, professors, and I told them, I told two of them of my lecture here, and they were very much worried. They said, "How can you? Who will be your audience?" I said, "University teachers, or college teachers." And then how dare you? <laughs> and I said, I know I'm going to get it, but I want to focus on my own experience as a, as a teacher, basically as a translator, as an interpreter, and above all as a lifelong learner of English. You know, I prefer to be a student rather than a teacher. I prefer. To be like you sitting there, listening to people teaching me what to do, I'm in a very unenviable situation because I know after this talk I will be evaluated. Please give me a good evaluation. <laughs> so,、uh, so that's that's why I have decided to、um, just、uh, work on this lecture little by little, day by day. Yes, until finally I got more than one hundred PowerPoints. One hundred words. Can you hear? That one is not one hundred words. Then I was just like, I could never stop. It just seems, it seems to have become something, some kind of obsession. Yes. Okay. So um, uh, another point is, I am in a very special position. I. Teach in the north. I live in Taipei, and I teach in NTU. I shouldn't call it a top university because I think the top the word is a little bit not. It's not politically correct. How do you call other schools? Mountain schools? No. But I have just happened to be in a school that in a prestigious school that people want to get in, no matter what. Okay. So I teach. I have been teaching there for more than 15 years, and、uh, I teach translation and oral interpretation. And you know, oral interpretation is a top-notch field、uh, in which you need to be very proficient in both languages. And you know,、uh, when I and then I accepted the job of.、Uh, that's a few years later. I accepted the job of Zhongyun. Operating by Zhongyun University, and after five years, I traveled back to in the south, Kaohsiung、uh, Kota.、Uh, why did I go there? Because the chairman told me、uh, I was teaching there in 19 from 1998 to 1999. I, I think all these years are you are at loss of what years these are because they are too young. Okay, but for for people like me, we remember the old days. Not a new. When you told me you are Ningbo Chinese, then I was asking, "How do you speak Ningbo Chinese?" Then, but if you told me you are Ningbo, twenty years, then I'm close. Then my son is close to the same age. Okay, so um, I taught there for one year. 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 And so, okay, and that that was one year I I I went to Guangzhou, but I went back to Taipei to go to university for five years. And my chairman, my ex-chairman, told me 